In this video, I will show you a new style for comparison videos. This template would use the morphing animation, which requires PowerPoint 2019 or newer. If you don't have this version, you can check out the old school template in the iCard in the right up corner. In the coming weeks, you will be seeing a lot of new styles of comparison videos with a lot of features you've asked for, like animated pictures and videos and making the comparison template less laggy to edit. This style requires more typing, but will result in such a smooth and streamlined comparison video, which is something the previous video had some issues with. To get this template, go to the Dropbox folder in the description and download the template for free. You can use the timestamps in the description to skip to your desired part. The background of this template is a transparent picture with a colored background. If you just want a plain background, which will save you a lot of time, simply remove all the background pictures of the slides by clicking on it and hitting the delete key on your keyboard. You then go to design in the ribbon and click on format background. Here, you can select a background color. After that, you click on apply to all. If you want to have this picture background that I have, you want to right click on the picture and click on change picture. Here you select the background picture that you would like. This will automatically stretch the picture, but it won't make it transparent. To make it transparent, you want to click on the picture and go to picture format in the ribbon. Here you click on transparency and you want to change the transparency to 65%. To change the color, go to design in the ribbon and click on format background. Here you change the background color. You will have to do this for every single slide. To change the images, you want to right click on an image and click on change picture and here you can insert your new picture. To change the text, simply click on a text box and adjust it and all text should stay centered. To change the background color of the boxes, right click on them and click on change format and here you can change the gradient of the boxes. Keep in mind that you have to adjust all slides that contain the edited tab. It's not possible for it to automatically update. The following can be a bit complicated, but you can follow on screen what I'm doing. To add more tabs, you want to duplicate the last slide. You want to select all objects, except the background picture and move them to the left. You want to move the last tab all the way off screen, so that you have three tabs left on the slide. You want to remove the tab that was already off screen. You now want to duplicate the tab all the way to the left by hovering your mouse over all the objects of this tab. You then want to press Ctrl D on your keyboard to duplicate these objects. You want to keep these objects selected and place them on the empty spot. To do this even more precisely, you can zoom in by looking at the right down corner and clicking on the plus. You then use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move all objects just a little bit. And you want to move them until they're just in the right spot. You then want to go to animations in the ribbon and open up the animation pane. You want to select all animations until the first yellow animation and delete them. You then want to select all objects of the first tab that is not on the slide and add a disappear animation on it. You want to right click on the selection of disappear animations in the animation pane and click on start after previous. You now want to convert this template into a video. And to do this, you want to go to file in the ribbon and click on export. Here you click on create a video. Select 4K video and use recorded timings and narrations and you then click on create a video. And there you have it. I hope this video helped. Consider subscribing and I will see you next time.